Welcome back JDM fam. Today we're going to be working on the 7th gen Honda Civic. We're going to be installing some aftermarket tail lights. So let's go. All right guys, so we have the 2002 7th gen Civic here. We're going to be working on it like I mentioned. Check out the wrap guys. So we do plan on wrapping this whole Civic in the future. I'm working with the owner and we have the wrap in my garage. So we are going to be getting this finished, but check it out guys, it is dirty but it is holding up great. It is actually really dirty right now and it does have some stuff on it, but it's still holding up and looking good. And in the sun, this wrap just shines. So this Civic definitely deserves to look better and get wrapped. So we're, I'm looking forward to that guys. The new headlights are holding up as well, but we have some new tail lights we're going to be installing. Okay, so here's the tail lights. These are the passenger side. They have LEDs in them and we're going to install this. I have to show you guys the other side really quick because you're probably going to see it anyways. So let's take a look. Okay, so this tail light has seen better days. We're going to be replacing it. it has a little bit of a, a scrape over here too and a dent. So you're probably going to see in a future video, we're going to be repairing this dent in the unibody in this quarter panel over here. And we're going to probably be cleaning up this bumper as well. And we're going to replace the tail light in this video right now, guys. This thing is exposed to the elements. It's just looking bad. It's broken up. We're going to replace it. And we're going to replace these trunk tail lights up here and this driver tail light. So we're going to remove all of these really quick. Then we'll look at how to install these. Okay, so there's three mounting spots on these tail lights, which means there are three bolts we're going to take off, three nuts. I'm going to pop these three off, which there are already two popped off right here. Makes the job a little bit easier. I don't know where these went. There's one right here. And then on the passenger side as well, there's one up here at the top, two at the bottom. I'm gonna break those really quick, pull them off, and we'll start taking out the tail lights. All right, so I've taken off the front bumper many times on this 7th Gen Civic, never taken off the back bumper. Looks like right here, the tail light is mounted into this bracket back here, which you have to take off the bumper to do. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did to take off the back bumper. You gotta take off the bolts on both sides, right next to the tail light right here. There's two bolts, one right here and one over there. Also, you gotta pull off the bolt right here. There's a little bolt slash screw that goes in here and there is a screw that mounts in right here as well. Once you get those off, should come right off. There we go, we got it off. Okay, so now that that's off, like I thought, there is a bracket right here, which is bent. And once we bend that, bend that back up, there's a little screw right there. Gotta take that out. Looks like uh, after that, there's just uh, some clips after we took off the bolts, the uh, nuts on the back. Okay, so after getting the screw out right there, I noticed you still can't take out the tail light because there's little clips right here, little, uh, I don't know, there's little stick things holding the tail light in still. So you cannot lift it upward to take it out. So I'm going to take off these brackets on both sides and then we'll finally take out these tail lights, which I didn't think would be this much work.
a test fit. Definitely an upgrade, obviously. So that's what it looks like, guys. Let's see. Let's see the side by side. There we go. Side by side comparison. Stock and old, brand spanking new LED. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bolt it in in the back, we're going to figure out how these plug and plays work. I'm pretty sure the one of the bulbs at least we're going to be using in the back back here. I don't think we have to use any bulbs. We might not have to. Um, I, I will let you guys know in this video, obviously, but we are going to bolt this back up. Already have these loose up here. There are two right there. One inside here, that's all I could see so far. Obviously, obviously we're going to unplug the, the harness as well. And I did that inside here too. Um, obviously that's a step that you're gonna have to do, but in case you wanna know the steps, that is something you have to do is unplug those before you pull out the tail lights. So now we're just gonna bolt it up and I'll figure out exactly how they work. I'll let you guys know. Okay, so the tail lights installed, everything's bolted up. All we have to do is tighten these up really quick and it was a. Uh, it did take a little bit of time to figure out what was going on back here. I'll show you on the other one what we did, but basically, all we had to do was take out the bulbs out of the harness, plug the plugs into the harness, and then plug it back in. Now it sounds really easy, but it took a little bit of work. I'll show you guys exactly what I did on the next one because I had to learn exactly what to do. Also, it does come with this ballast, which I'm assuming is to power up all the LEDs. I I don't know if. Maybe the harness cannot power all of the LEDs that are on this tail light. So this tail light kit came with 3M tape. We're going to mount this somewhere in here. I'm not exactly sure, but for the most part, it's done, guys. That's what it looks like. The wiring harness basically just plugs straight into the LED plugs. The short one goes to the short harness, which is the top. Long one goes to the long harness, which is the bottom. That's basically it. Going to do something with this. But for now, I'll show you guys how I did it on the next one. So let's start installing the next one. Then we'll move on to these. These should be the easiest though. Okay, so we have one nut that we're putting in on this side that's going to make it a little easier. Pop that in really quick. And then I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did the other side. Okay, so on the other side, what I did was just take the short side, short side here, which is the top side. Actually, these aren't much shorter on this side as they were on the other side. We're going to plug them in and let's see if they work. Okay, so they don't work on this side as well. So the other side would not plug in. I came to figure out after after staring at it for a while i figured out that these little bumps right here make it so it does not go all the way in it will still work but it is not plugged in now if you look here this is as far as it will go now what i did on the other side was just get the wire uh cutters right here and i just lightly cut off each one of these little bumps on each side. I don't know if you guys can see that. If you can't, I'll take a picture and I'll show you guys um, on this clip right now. And then as well as this one, I did the same thing on this one too. Let's see if we can get closer so I can show you. Okay, so see this little bump right here on that clip. I had to shave that off and on this one as well right there that little bump right there i had to shave both of those off and when i did then it was able to plug into the harness and i mean i don't know why they would design it like that maybe there are years that that will work with the socket but it didn't work on this one so I'm going to shave those off really quick literally all you have to do is just cut off that little piece right there on both sides and it'll plug right in i'm going to do that really quick
There we go. That's a blinker. There we go. There's the brake light. There we go. She works. So, like I said, guys, all I had to do was just trim off the edge on it. Now, these plugs, these uh, sockets are actually pretty old. They're cracking from this, so I don't know. Maybe down the road, might need to replace them. Who knows? Shouldn't be too difficult. And as you can see, guys, now that I trimmed them, they're plugged right in. They look great. Now, all we have to do is just plug them right back into the socket, close it up so moisture doesn't get into the tail light. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like when it's all done, plugged in. Now, all we have is this right here, going to plug it into the ballast or whatever this thing is, a cooling fan for some reason. Plug that in, mount them on the side, tighten up these bolts, these nuts really quick, and then tighten up that nut right there, and we're completely done with these side tail lights. Okay, and I forgot to mention, there's a screw under here as well. Going to install that right now and uh, just button everything up and then we'll be done with the side tail lights. So let's go. is done which are these check it out guys they are looking so good it's gonna look great and then these only take like two minutes to take out this one's just about done and then we'll pop in the new ones show you guys what they look like but there's the new ones right there can't wait to see them let's pop those out really quick and this one right here as well Okay, so after all of that, after taking out the old one, putting the new one in, you do have to reuse the uh, incandescent lights for the reverse light, which is right here. Just gonna plug it in. And then this one is going to plug straight into the tail light as well. We're gonna have tail light. We're gonna have LED tail lights on this one as well. So they'll all match. Then we'll have the uh, incandescent, which I believe we upgraded. Oh no, I don't think we upgraded on this one, on this car, but uh, it's gonna look really good. So we're gonna plug it in. I'll show you exactly what's done after I get done, figure it all out. And we'll do the next one together. Okay, so this one is installed. It's completely done. What we're gonna do is install the other one. I'll show you guys every step. Pop these off really quick. Now you do, like I mentioned, you do need to use the reverse light in the socket for this one. The brake LEDs are a plug in, a plug and play. So we're gonna pop this in really quick. All you gotta do is just put the wiring harness in. If it will go in, there we go. All right, pop that in really quick and then it all pops in. And then we're going to put the sides on really quick. These just go right on. After these are done, there's another nut on the inside we're going to get. These are super simple guys, these like take literally like a quarter of the time the other tail lights took so after those are on then all we have to do is put on this little one on the inside right here that's on this is going to go into the reverse light like so 
Super simple, guys. Definitely the easier part of this process. After that's done, this, one of these are gonna go in here. I believe it's this one, I'm not gonna do it yet. Um, and then this one. So this one is shorter, so I'm assuming this one goes to the tail light. I'll plug that in for you guys, show you guys how it's done. So this is gonna go in here just like that. And then this plugs in there. So we're just going to plug the socket in because we need that to finish this. If it will go in, there we go. And then we just plug this in. There we go, we're done. After that, we're going to put all the wire back in there and just plug this in just like that. Turn it in. So. There is a lot of wire to play with right here, but you just make sure to press it all in. That way we can make these tail lights watertight. Once it's in, you just lock it up. I'll probably do that off camera really quick because it's gonna take a second. I'll show you guys when it's done. So now that we're done with the trunk lights and the tail lights down here, it's time to put the bumper back on, see what it looks like and the finished result. So I'm, all I have to do is pop the bumper back on, clip it through all of these clips on the sides, and then after that, just bolt in these, tighten up the bolt slash screw that goes in at the top of the bumper up here, and then the screw down here at the bottom. After about, I don't know, hour and a half, it's done, guys. It looks great. These tail lights look, they kind of have a smoked look on the side. It's kind of like a dark, dark red. And then it goes to bright red in the middle with LED lights. This is still incandescent. Still has a reflector right here as well. Same thing on the other side, obviously. It looks so good, guys. So for aftermarket tail lights, I would say these actually are pretty good. Like if you look at all of the lines on them, it actually lines up really well. Now, to see the lines better, probably look at the driver's side because it is perfect over here. If you guys look at all of the lines, it looks really good. Actually lines up really well, and I like how they look. So look out for a future video, guys. We are going to be fixing this. It's going to line up a lot better. I believe the little, I believe there's like a little bracket or something that holds it in right there as well which is not doing its job. It would look a little bit better if that was working. Don't forget guys, we went from this right here <laughs> to this. So yeah, I like it guys. Definitely an upgrade. And these light bulbs, these LED lights should be a lot brighter than these incandescents with these faded cracked up tail lights that we have right here. So let's see what they look like when we use them. It is pretty bright out today, so you're probably not gonna see them that well. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the running lights on. The two center trunk lights turn on. And then that's with the running lights and tail lights on. You can see the center brake light, the uh, spoiler light, and all of the brake lights turn on. And then the trunk lights also turn on. That looks really cool, actually. Okay, so that's with all of them on. And if you turn off the headlights or the running lights, the trunk lights turn off. And then... Uh, you can see with the brakes, you have the brake lights and the uh, the third brake light, which is the spoiler light. Definitely cool. I like it. It looks awesome, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will link these tail lights if you guys want to check them out or buy them for your Honda Civic. I'll link them in the description. 